Yo, 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 what's up, you guys? Yo, Sefer here. I am going to talk about the position I took on Shopify. My timing was off. My timing was more on the bad side than the good side, in my opinion. However, my position is still doing okay, and there's still a high chance that I will profit off this position. And that kind of just, you know, gives me that feeling that, man, it's so wonderful when your timing can be off, but you'll still make money. And that's what it's looking like on Shopify. So we're going to review my position. Um, and then um, I did actually take up another position today on NVIDIA stock. So we'll talk about that. Um, I saw it starting to pull back. So that's why I sold some call credit spreads. Still far out of the money, though. And so we'll, we'll take a look at that and everything about call credit spreads, guys. Currently, I'm 5-0. If I close Shopify at a at a profit, I will be 6-0. Uh, if I close this new NVIDIA trade, I'll be 7-0. So hopefully that's the case so I can keep this ball rolling, keep stacking those profits, and then help anyone else who's looking for consistent winners of, you know, about 5, 10, 15% ROI, somewhere in that zone once a week. Hey, let's make it happen for, for both of us, right? Let's jump into the chart and all the information. Okay, so I don't want to make this video too long because I got to open the store soon, but I did want to just jump in and chime in and talk about the position on Shopify. So as you can see here in the options chain, I do have an open position, sold 50 vertical spreads, call credit spreads. Uh, and right now I am slightly in the profit only by $46. Uh, my PL went up $1,000 today, which actually recouped losses because yesterday my PL was pretty negative. This PL actually got as negative as four grand negative PL, but it's now recovered all that because the stock has kind of been consolidating and stuff but you can see this is where i took the position here okay this was the day here we grind it up and i was like man we've just been going up 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 and as it started consolidating and pulling back i took the position right here i set i went way far out of the money which i'm glad i did but you can see i took the position on this day which was the 20th we went up two more days after that in fact today there was a like, little spike in the morning too and it was like oh my god my pnl was going negative 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 but look the stocks come back down to about 244 we're still about the the stock was at 212 when i sold these credit spreads. we're still about 30 30 what 32 dollars above where i sold it but because days have gone by i'm now slightly in the profit by well what is it 46 dollars in the profit not a whole lot right less than a dollar a contract but what this is telling me as long as the stock consolidates now or heads lower at uh after having run up this much that's going to be very good for my position because now there's only three days left to expiration every day that goes by is very good for me the the lower amount of days there are the more benefit you get from a day going by. So with three days left, if one day goes by, that's going to be really good for my position. So anyways, uh, it's looking like I'm going to win on this, uh, but I'm going to have to be patient because my timing was off. So I'm going to have to let this get very close to expiration and hope that we're just chopping back and forth, or I may have to let this run. Now you can see, if we look at the one year, one day, this red line, this red horizontal line is the line that I need the stock price to be under by this friday and this red uh vertical line is signifies this friday the 28th okay so the stock can run up like this okay as long as we're under this red line by this vert vertical line i'm good i'm gravy so i still have room for the stock to run up even though it's run up already and that was bad my timing was off again i want to show you guys this because your timing doesn't have to be absolutely perfect you know it just doesn't have to be as long as you pick a level that's uh, a very very uh, uh high chance of the stock being under you're pretty good now again i'm gonna i'm gonna use this as reference like hey maybe my timing could be better in the future because if your timing is is more on the good side than the bad side that's always beneficial it allows you to close your trades early for most of the profit and things like that in this case i can't do that if i wanted to close it right now i would well actually my PL. hey look at my PL, 670 dollar profit so my PL just increased quite a bit. The stock uh, and the stock price is up four dollars. We were at two forty four. We're now at two forty eight. So you can see how it's just fluctuating a bit. And so uh, if we look at the daily action, what happening? Okay, I can see what's happening. So we bottomed out, and now we're starting to recover a bit. Uh, but with you, when you see these high volume big candles, I'm just going to let it run for a little while. I'm not afraid to hold on to this for a little while because, as you can see. I wasn't afraid to to start selling credit spreads on this day. 
now that we've run up two more days and we've seen a big red can red candle, I'm even more not afraid to hold it because I feel like it's going to consolidate. I could be wrong and it could blast up to this over this line, but uh, I think the odds of that are very, very low. If we look at my options chain and look at the singles, I need the stock to be under 330, uh, 1335. We are at 1246, so this could run up another another $85 and I'll still be okay provided it's under that by the end of the aftermarket session this Friday. But the point I'm trying to make is look at the percentage. This this right here prob OTM stands for the probability of the stock of the option being out of the money. There's a 92.5% chance this option will be out of the money in within 3 days by the, by the end of the after hour session this Friday. That's why I'm going to just sit on it, let it run. Uh, now you see my PL is only uh, $171 up. So you can see it's just fluctuating right now. But what's going to happen if we stay consolidating and days go by, my PL is going to ramp up really high. So now I'm in a negative PL, negative $78. You see what I'm saying? So things can fluctuate, uh, but I'm going to hold on and I will update you guys when I close the position. So just wanted to make this video to update you guys. I did take the position on Shopify. It's still working its way uh, its way out. My timing was off, but I'm still not losing a ton of money. I'm only down $78 on this position. And by the way, it took $23,500 to execute this trade. So if you if you put in $23,500 and you're only down $78, bucks, you are doing okay. Trust me. The PL was as negative as four grand at one point. Down four grand. Uh, so it's recovered that because the days have gone by and the stock is kind of consolidated. So again, I will update you on this. Next thing I want to show you real quick is my new trade I opened on NVIDIA stock. Uh, I sold, you can see here, uh, let's see, uh, the 685. So I need the stock to be under 685. I will draw a line for that. This is 685 right here. I need the stock to be under that level by uh, June 4th because I, I didn't sell ones expiring on the 28th, expiring on the 4th. So actually about 10... What, one, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, nine trading days to get me there. Okay, so I feel like it's a reasonable position. I'm going to be updating you on that as well, guys. You can see my position's down only 10 bucks from now. Uh, it took about 10 grand or a little like nine grand to initiate this trade for 20s credit spreads. Total credit collected uh, was 20 times 40. So I be believe 800 bucks. Yes, 800 bucks. So I will update you on this as well. And this could be another winner. Another 800 bucks within like a week and a half or something. That would be pretty cool. So that's pretty much all it for now, guys. Tell me what you think about call credit spreads. Till next time, stay safe. Take care.